Hi, Kevin Ledoux at Ledoux Guitars back again. Uh, the other day, somebody posted in the comments section of my channel a question about my spray booth, wondering apparently what sort of rig or what sort of setup I have. So behind me, right here behind that door with the filters on it, is my spray booth and my room where I do that sort of work. So I thought I'd give you a short tour well, of that. To start with, this is my blower system here. It hangs outside the building, as you can see, and powered by a motor under there. Inside, there's a squirrel cage blower. And I've got this blower set up moving right now uh, around 700 cubic feet of air per minute. We'll go inside and take a look at the other working so parts. Off the main part of the shop, this is my finishing room through this door. And it may interest some of you to know that uh, Right here, where this door is now, just 10 years ago or 11 years ago, there was a window here which I would open, put a fan in, and in front of that fan would spray through rattle cans. And if that's all you have to work with, it works. Um, and I might still be using it, but for the fact that I bought a spray gun and a turbine, and uh, it just puts so much stuff in the air that you, you can't you can't do it that way. So I had to move up to a a better spray booth. So here in the clean room, uh, I have my carpeted bench. This is where I do final assembly of my instruments and I do some repair work in here and things like that. And finish preparation is done right here on this bench. And then through these doors is the spray booth itself. And we'll open that up. And you can see that it really is nothing more than a hole in the wall. And it leads to that, uh, that mechanism that I showed you on the outside of the building. Uh, this is a paint filter material right here. But if I pull this down for a minute, dusty, dusty. Uh, that filter needs to be changed. There's my squirrel cage blower. And as I mentioned, this moves about 700 cubic feet of air a minute. When it's on, uh, if you open the doors in the room, uh, even in the other part of the shop, you can feel it want to pull the doors open if you leave them loose. So it's got quite a lot of suction power. And that's all there is to it. It's nothing fancy. This white surface that you're seeing is just available at the big box stores. It's just a, a quarter inch thick masonite with a white surface painted on it or adhered to it. And I like it because you can cut a piece, put it on there, and you see I've just got it screwed on. You can take it right back off when it gets finally worn out or it gets so much lacquer on it that you can't stand it anymore. And for cheap money, you can put another one right back on it. And I just made this thing up with these hollow core doors that, uh, you know, after the kind of a clamshell opening, you might say. And then since this does lose a, quite a lot of heat, if I leave it this way, I have just insulation panels that I put in there and that keeps me a little bit more energy efficient. So there it is. Pretty simple. 